so dear friends today we are going to understand one of the very important injection system and that is nothing but called as a air injection system <music> In the last few videos, we already started to discuss about the different things in the injection system itself. So, in the case of CI engine, injector system is one of the important things. We already discussed what about the different requirements of a good injection system, what are the different functional elements of an injector system. Now, today, we are going to understand one of the very important injection system and that is nothing but called as a air injection system. So before this, we must have to understood the classification or the types of the injector system or the injection system. So we know injector is nothing but it is required thing to inject the fuel inside the engine cylinder and that is nothing but called as a injector. So it has a particular system to supply the amount of diesel inside the engine cylinder or nowadays in modern engine the amount of petrol inside the engine cylinder. Conventionally this particular injector system was used to supply only amount of diesel inside the engine cylinder but nowadays in modern type of engine cylinder or in the modern engine we are using the injector and the injector system to inject the amount of petrol inside the engine cylinder. So, there are the different types of the injection system. So, the first one that is a air injection system, second one solid injection system. So, the solid injection system is again subdivided as individual pump and injector or jerk pump system, B unit injector system, C common rail injection system, the distributor type of injection system. So one by one we are going to discuss thoroughly this all the types of injector system. So here we start with the first type that is a air injection system. So why it is called the air injection system? This is again very important question. Okay. So first of all we are going to understand or we will be discussing to understand the construction of the air injection system. So if you see in this particular diagram, here we have multi-stage air compressor. On the left hand side of this particular diagram, here we have one element and this is nothing but called as a multi-stage air compressor. Okay. Then this multi-stage air compressor is connected with the help of one line or the one air line through to this particular cylinder of the engine okay so let us first understand the construction then after we will understand the working principle so here is the camshaft and this is the metering pump so this line is nothing but called as a low pressure fuel line that is lp fuel line this line is nothing but called as a hp fuel that is high pressure fuel line this is again the hp fuel that is high pressure fuel line so here is a mechanical linkage, this is called the mechanical linkage which is connected to the cylinder. So here is the another mechanical linkage which is connected to the cylinder. So let us consider this is the engine cylinder 1, this is the engine cylinder 2. Okay, so let us consider suppose the multi-cylinder engine is there, 3, 4 cylinders are there. So here in this particular diagram here we have the two cylinders and continuously the remaining cylinders will be there. Okay, please assume it. So again, uh, this particular cylinder is connected with this particular line to the multi-stage air compressor. Okay, so after understanding the construction of this particular system, now we are going to discuss first the function of each and every element. Then we will understand the complete working of air injection system. So, dear friends, as we already discussed about the functional elements working of the different elements of an injection system. Like we already discussed what is the role of the pumping element in the case of injection system. So pump is a device which is generally used to increase the pressure of the fuel. Okay. So such kind of a different elements are again present in this particular type of 
injection system. So we start with the first one that is a air compressor. So the name of this air compressor is a multi-stage air compressor. Let us consider here is the first, second and third stage. Now the main function of this multi-stage air compressor is what? Or it is a compressor which is generally used to create the pressure of air from 30 to 70 bar itself. Okay. So the main function of a compressor is what? It will take the low pressurized the atmospheric air and it will get converted into a high pressurized. Okay. So this is the role of the compressor. So such kind of a multi-stage air compressor because it has the three stages. At stage one, uh, it will compress some amount of air and it will increase the pressure. And in the second stage, again, it will increase the pressure of the air. And finally, it will uh, more increase the pressure of air, maybe uh, near about from 30 to 70 bar itself. So this is the main function of this multi-stage air compressor and that particular multi-stage air compressor is fitted along with this air injection system and because of this particular multi-stage air compressor we can say the name of this particular system or the name of this injection system is a air injection system because there is a huge role of this particular multi-stage air compressor during the working of this kind of a system that's why it is called the air injection system Okay, so this is the role of the multi-stage air compressor, which is generally used to increase the pressure, increase the atmospheric pressure of the air from 30 to 70 bar as per the requirement inside the engine. Okay, so as I told you earlier uh, in this particular video itself, this multi-stage air compressor is connected along with one line or there is one connection or we can say there is one rubber hosing pipe or rubber hosing connection line is there which is connected to the one end of the engine cylinder. Let us consider here is the engine cylinder and this particular high pressure line from the multi-stage air compressor it is connected to the engine cylinder at this point and this is called a high pressure air line. This line is nothing but called as a high pressure air line which is coming from the air compressor. Similarly, this is the continuous line or continuous connection which is again connected to the another cylinder. If again some another cylinder is there, this particular line which will be connected to the third cylinder, again it will be connected to the fourth cylinder. Let us assume. Okay. So this is the connection from the multi-stage air compressor which is used to supply the high pressurized air to the engine cylinder. Okay, so I think you understood the function of this multi-stage air compressor and how it is connected to the uh, engine cylinder. Okay, and this is called the high pressure air line which is coming from the multi-stage air compressor. So similarly, this is the camshaft. So here, this particular camshaft along with a metering pump. Here we have one metering pump and here we have the another metering pump. Similarly, for the uh, next cylinder, there will be another metering pump and for the fourth cylinder, there will be another separate metering pump. So, the camshaft operated metering pump are present over here. Okay, please concentrate on my statement, what I am telling. The camshaft operated metering pump are present over here. So what is the role of the metering pump? As we already discussed in the earlier videos, in the functional elements of the injection system, the metering pump is a device which is generally used to measure the amount of diesel and it will be supplied to the engine cylinder with the high pressure. So this is the function of the metering pump. And how it will be operated? It is totally operating on the motion of the camshaft. That's why it is called as a camshaft operated metering pump. So there is one plunger inside this particular metering pump and there is one kind of arrangement has done inside this metering pump which will measure the amount of diesel and because of the moment of plunger there will be an increase in the pressure of the 
So yes, whatever that uh, amount of diesel comes inside this particular pump it. Okay. So in this case, what happened? The separate metering pump is connected over here, the another one, and likewise. Again, the another function of a camshaft is what? This camshaft is again connected with this particular engine cylinder for opening and closing of this particular wall. Okay, so here we have the two functions of a camshaft. Camshaft operated metering pumps, which are present over here. Uh, I just said the, the main functions of this particular metering pump. And similarly, for opening and closing of this particular wall, this is again depend on the motion of the camshaft. So if you see over here, here is the connection uh, of this particular camshaft, which is connected uh, to this particular wall for the opening of this particular uh, high pressure lines. Uh, similarly, the another camshaft connection which is present over here. And likewise, it is connected to the each and every engine cylinder. So what happened in this case? So if you see here is the connection of low pressurized fuel. So this low pressurized fuel line which is connected to the uh, one metering pump, it is again connected to the another metering pump. And likewise, this particular low pressure fuel line is connected to each and every metering pump. So this low pressure fuel which is coming from the fuel tank, then initially it will come inside the metering pump. So again, it will come inside this metering pump, it will come inside this metering pump because there is one common line which is present over here. So as the camshaft will start to rotate, so camshaft operated metering pump will start to operate and it will increase the pressure of the fuel inside the pump and it will measure the required quantity because some arrangements, some devices are present inside this pump and that will be sent inside engine cylinder to this high pressure fuel line. If you see this is the line or this is the connection through which the high pressurized fuel will supply to the engine cylinder. Okay, so please concentrate on one again. In this case, the low pressurized fuel will come from the fuel tank, then it will insert inside the metering pump. It will be inserted inside the metering pump as the camshaft operates. According to the operation of the camshaft, this metering pump will again start to work and it will increase the low pressurized fuel to high pressurized and then it will supply to the engine cylinder through this line. So this first metering pump, it is connected to the first cylinder. The second metering pump, it is connected to the second cylinder and likewise that other. Okay, so similarly, according to the firing order of the engine cylinder, this particular metering pump supply that high pressurized fuel from low pressurized fuel and this multi-stage air compressor supply a very high pressurized air from this side and this will operate or the wall mechanisms will be operated with the help of the rotation of the camshaft and as the walls will be open that time the high pressurized air will come from the compressor and high pressurized fuel will come from this particular metering pump and the both will be injected inside the engine cylinder. So the air injection system work taken place, we can say. So that's why it is called as an air injection system. So low pressurized fuel initially converted it from low pressurized to high pressurized, then it will send to engine cylinder. And similarly, at the same time, the high pressurized air which will come from the multi stage air compressor, it will send from this particular point inside the engine cylinder and at the same time the wall will get open because of the connection being made and it is totally depend on the rotation of the camshaft and the high pressurized air from the compressor and high pressurized fuel from this particular metering pump both will be injected inside the engine cylinder and that's why it is called as the air injection system. Okay, so I hope you understood the things about the air injection system properly. So thank you so much uh, for watching this particular video.